hello good day guys welcome back this is dr cool auto fix in today's video edition here uh i'm gonna be telling you guys something a little bit before i go into this very channel so i need you guys support right now like never right uh it's been uh getting to five months right now my channel is demonetized and it is really hard for me to keep my channel going and uh some of the things which i'm putting out for you here i know it's uh, helping you guys to solve your car problem and if there is any way which you can assist me that's gonna be a welcome idea right so and the reason why my channel was demonetized is uh, uh reduced content i have tried to sort that out but i still made a mistake and that is costing me is still gonna be taking me a whole lot this september before i can think about reapplying so the, the youtube is seriously strict and uh not just strict, it's really hard on me. A lot of things is stripped off my channel. I can't even communicate back to them to... They didn't even give me option to appeal their decision about the reuse content. So it was a serious nightmare for me, guys. But uh, I'm just having a leap of faith and taking this with a strong mind and uh, hoping that it's going to be a light shining at the end of the tunnel. So in today's very video edition, I'm going to be very brief in teaching you guys there are some other two more steps two more ways but let me try if i can be able to illustrate how to test it so that you guys can be able to follow up so i'm going to be teaching you guys two ways to bypass the most popular uh pressure sensor it could be in volkswagen yes volkswagen use the same it's also probably going to be the same thing in uh, uh your what do you call it again your audi yes it's also going to be the same with a Pujo, right? But it's not gonna be the same with Mercedes. If your Mercedes have a problem, well, that's gonna be a serious one. So we leave that for another day. You have to find it. That's gonna be a lot of pain in the ass. So let's dive into the video. So please, I beg you, this very video is not intending to replace the original components, right? but just a test subject to discover if suppose the problem which you are having that prevents your ac compressor from coming on is due to a defective pressure switch the reason for this is because most car models especially the one i'm going to be using to run this experiment today often will not even show anything like that on the live stream data or on a scanner i'm talking about toyota or even lexus so don't even think about it and I don't know if Honda does that, but you're going to get it on Mercedes, you're going to get it on BMW, you're going to get it on a Volkswagen, right? Those ones are astronomical technologies, so we're going to leave that for some other day. So let's deal with Toyota right now, and Toyota is going to be uh, working pretty much the same way with uh, VW, Fantastic and uh, Pujo. So now, if uh, based on what I told you, you are just only going to use it to test it. So if you start up your car, let's uh, start up your car. Okay. This this has a this has a, some sort of a security. Now, if you on your car, put the AC on and press this button, and the AC is on, right? And you don't seem that uh, the air the air coming out of this very place here is not cold, right? Okay, and it's not cold. It's blowing just warm air. Now, let me show you what you need to do, especially when we talk about this very bypass here. So, for this very car here, this is the most popular primary sensor for uh toyota model and you're also gonna come across it in honda i forgot to mention that acura you're also gonna come across it on um on uh Pujo. it's the same thing they have the same it has a chip inside here so to bypass that chip is what i'm gonna be teaching you guys today i gotta call guys okay so now the first bypass here is when you you need to turn your turn on your ac on from the inside after turning the ac on okay when well, once you turn on your car is on and the compressor is not picking what you need to do is to pull out this very socket like i showed you here oh you need to observe it very carefully like i observe this one this one is already burning right the signal wire socket is burning which is the one in the middle so what you need to do here is why the ac is on you need to fish water into a cup right and dip this socket right into the cup while you are holding it you should wiggle the you should wiggle the water you are holding in the cup while holding this one steady wiggle the water in the cup right just wiggle it all right as soon as you wiggle it 
you need to be taking a look at your manifold gauge set while you're doing that because that's the only way you're going to know if the compressor has peaked. When the compressor peaks, then you see a rapid response in the pressure, head pressures and the low pressure. I hope that is clearly understood. So now the second way to actually uh, get this done to test this very effectively to know if suppose this is where your problem is coming from is that one can be a little bit handy for you and that is getting a light emitting diode i know a lot of you guys i'm gonna give you the picture here on my screen so you take a look at it and exactly how you should do the connection now you will need to identify the negative terminal of that very light emitting diode which you have when you identify the negative terminal and positive terminal you should connect the the negative to positive negative to positive of the two light emitting diode the two light emitting diode what i mean are uh, it has two legs right most often i think the the smaller leg is the negative terminal while the bigger legs is the positive terminal so you need to connect it in uh, series when i mean series you should know what it means guys connect the light emitting diode in a, in a series so that's uh, the two ends the two legs of them this is positive and this is negative so you connect negative to positive then you'll be left with one positive and one negative on the end right i wish i could uh I have this to show you guys so it can be easy to understand right but as soon as you twist the two legs together so you have three legs you understand what I mean so you can insert the middle leg here and insert the other leg here and insert the third leg here now when you do this go ahead and turn on your AC the light should start glowing and when the lights start glowing the compressor should come on I hope that is clearly understood. However, if the compressor didn't pick, you should interchange the polarity of the light emitting diode which you inserted here. However, the middle one must go into the middle one while the other two legs goes here and the other one goes here. And instantly, the compressor should engage. And as soon as you engage, you should see the AC start working. And as soon as it start working, don't forget what I told you at the concept of this very video here. Okay, wait, wait, wait. On supporting me due to the current issue which I have. And the second thing here, I told you that this, the idea, ideology which I'm bringing to you is not going to replace this very uh, uh, factory uh, pressure sensor here. But why? Because this is designed to protect the life of your compressor. So in that bypass which I taught you to do right now, you are going to ruin your compressor if you leave it there working so as soon as you have discovered you use any of these two method and it works then go ahead and replace this uh pressure sensor because that is exactly what your problem is but if it doesn't come on then it means this is in a it, 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 this could be in a very good condition then lastly before I go, I want to let you know that this test is only going to work when you have the right refrigerant quantity inside your car AC system. So do yourself that favor and check the level of the refrigerant that's present inside the circuit. So if there is no refrigerant within the circuit, the compressor is not going to turn on even though if you bypass it. I hope that is clearly understood. So the parameter met. The compressor should come on when if you if the refrigerant uh, quantity that is here when you check it using your manifold gauge set are up to factory specification so and it's only within that that is when what the knowledge which i shared with you right now can be able to send the right signal through this middle wire green and wh white wire here to the ecm to know that the system has actually attained its rightful uh, operating uh, parameters, has made the parameters which it has set to work with and therefore it will allow power to go to the compressor. So guys, I'll see you guys later. Bye for now.